Welcome back to another YouTube video, all 12 of you guys who watch my YouTube and those of you guys who have subscribed, thank you very much. And uh, today I'm going to go ahead and talk about a little bit about the build that I use uh, and what you need for this build. And I'm going to try to make it pretty quick because I think this is the third time that I've tried making this video and it's just too long and I just start rambling. So let's get to it. Um, for those of you who don't know what this build is, it's a permanent Archon build. Before Reaper of Souls came out, you could have permanent Archon because every mob that you actually killed with Archon would extend the duration by one second. So if you killed enough mobs, you would never run out of Archon. Now Archon no longer does that. Instead, every time you kill a mob, it increases your damage by, I believe, 6%. It does. So you can only have 20 seconds of Archon. With a cooldown of 120 seconds, in order to get permanent Archon or very close to permanent Archon, you actually need to have lots and lots of cooldown reduction on your gear. And I actually have a video about cooldown reduction. If you go to my YouTube, there it'll be there. It's just it explains what pieces of gear can have cooldown reduction, so I won't go over that in detail. But um, you'll notice when my Archon pops off, I have about a six second, seven second, you know, ish cooldown before I can actually pop back into Archon. And um, the result is it's very, very powerful because Archon is just such a good ability for wizards. This entire build essentially revolves around Archon, and I'll go ahead and I'll explain what kind of stuff that you want in order for this build to work. Uh, the most important thing is cooldown reduction. Like, you want to have cooldown reduction on your gear because if you don't have cooldown reduction, uh, your Archon cooldown is going to be really, really long, and in effect, you won't be able to be an Archon very long. So that kind of defeats the entire purpose of the build. So definitely, if you don't know about cooldown reduction, check out that video that I have on my YouTube. It'll explain all the pieces of gear that you get cooldown reduction. Don't forget the Borns and Captain Crimson set as well. Um, that also gives you cooldown reduction. I think I forgot to mention that in the video. So that's pretty important. Cooldown reduction. Uh, besides that, the abilities that you use, uh, you're in Archon most of the time. So when it comes to abilities, you really don't need that much else because, you know, 90% of the time or so, 85% of the time, whatever it is, you're in Archon. So the abilities that I use are just things that increase your damage. Magic Weapon, uh, Force Weapon gives you 20% extra damage. Familiar Spark Flint gives you 10% extra damage. I also use Energy Armor, Prismatic Armor because that's a huge, huge increase to your toughness. I see I'm at 10.4 million. This brings me up to you know, 14 million, I think. Look at that, 14.8 million. Huge, huge toughness increase, definitely worth it. Uh, you could also use Pinpoint Barrier if you want a little bit of extra damage, but it really depends what content you're playing and what difficulty you're playing. Uh, teleport, just for mobility. Um, I have Teleport on my middle mouse button because I like to use my middle mouse button to teleport. Um, notice with a really high cooldown reduction, this normally has an 11 second cooldown with the 722 72.12% cooldown reduction, which is actually the absolute highest you can get as a wizard. Um, I'm currently ranked number one for cooldown reduction as a wizard worldwide. That's the highest that you can get. Um, every single piece of gear that has cooldown reduction on it has the absolute maximum. Uh, so the cooldown on teleport, the cooldown on all of your abilities is going to be really, really low. Uh, the one ability that you can kind of get as a toss-up is this one right here. So notice when, you, when you're in Archon, you know, you're in Archon for about 20 seconds or so. And then uh, once Archon actually runs out, you've got about five seconds, six seconds where you can't use Archon. And that's where you're going to be using your other ability. Now, this is up to you. Depending on the gear that you have, depending on the build that you have, depending on, you know, what you want to be doing, you can actually choose a different skill. I use Wave of Force, Heat Wave, because it's fire damage. And I have just enough Arcane Power, generally to the point where as soon as I run out of Arcane Power, I can pop back into Archon, and it just does a pretty decent amount of damage. It's not anything like Archon, of course. You know, you're not going to do a ton of damage, but it's reasonable. You can also use uh, Meteor. You can use uh, Spectral Blades. Um, you could use Spectral Blades. What is it? Flame Blades. You could use Explosive Blast if you have a Wand of Woe. Um, those are the big alternatives, I guess you could say. Um, I don't know any other off the top of my head. You could use Magic Missile Conflagrate if you have a Mirror Ball. Um, I'm sure there's a couple of others, but it really depends on what you want to do. So I'll go over the runes, Archon, Combustion, again with the Veer set, it doesn't matter what rune you use because you're going to get access to all the runes, uh, and your Archon will do damage, uh, the elemental damage based on the highest elemental damage you have on your gear. Uh, heat, wave of Force, Heat Wave, again that one you can change depending on what you want to do, Magic Open, Force Open, Familiar Spark Flint, Teleport, Wormhole, Energy Armor, Prismatic, the passives that I use are Blur for just less damage, you can substitute that for Glass Cannon or anything else really. Um, if you want extra damage, but in higher torment difficulties, taking less damage, getting more toughness is always good. I use Astro Presence. This is a really weird choice. I think a lot of people might disagree with me on this one. I use it because when I run out of Archon, I want to have a little bit of extra Arcane Power Generation to, to get more heat, heat Waves off um, before I pop back into Archon. So it's just really for that. Um, you don't have to have that. You could always take something else. Um, 
You could take Unstable Anomaly if you're running high torment levels. I choose Audacity, Audacity as well. Um, again, 15% extra damage when you're within 15 yards. I'd say most of the damage that I do with this build is close range damage, so it's just extra DPS. Evocation, that is the one like must have. It's just 20% less cooldown, so that's a must have. So for this build, you gotta have Evocation. That's, that's just a no brainer. Besides that, you know, this build is pretty simple, pretty self-explanatory. Um, you're in Archon most of the time, and it's a maximum cooldown reduction Archon build. Um, maybe I'll make another video and show you how it farms Torment 6, how it farms tor low torments, high torments, and all that stuff. But right now, I don't have time to do that. So um, that's pretty much going to be it. Expect another video about this build and other videos about other stuff um, pertaining to Diablo 3 very soon. So if you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget the thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube. It really mean a lot to me. Uh, check out the Twitch, twitch.tv slash goodideagaming, twitter.com slash goodideagaming, all that uh, stuff that nobody likes to hear, and you guys have probably already left the video by now, but I'm saying it anyway. So that's about it. Thanks, everyone, for watching. New videos coming out soon, and I'll see you guys on the live stream.